Welcome to the second edition of the Quarantune Comedy Showcase, everybody. I'm your host, Dan Brown. Boy, this social distancing is rough. I just bought a house, and I wish I had bought a couch before the pandemic started, because it's really hard to slouch across three folding chairs in a row. I was, a uh, social distancing long before everyone else started doing it. I'm ahead of my time. I don't need some newfangled disease for people to find me unpleasant. We're in the middle of a pandemic. I wonder how bad it has to get before Trump doesn't have the time to apply that orange stuff to his face. The moment Trump gets on TV and his face is ghostly white, that's when we know we're all gonna die. Are you ladies in coronavirus germs ready to infect your next comedian? Then give it up for the very lovely Stosh Makita. All right, quarantine comedy. This is very cool. I've always wanted to be a cartoon. I gotta say, though, if the animator drew me with clothes on, uh, he's a damn liar. There's a time for clothes, and that time is before March of 2020. Uh, I am one of the few people whose life was improved by this quarantine. I'm saving on gas. I'm cooking for myself instead of eating out all the time. Most stores are closed. Honestly, in a way, COVID has actually bumped me up a tax bracket. It's great. I feel like a real capitalist. Finally. I've been spending a lot of my uh, my excess quarantine money subscribing to women's OnlyFans pages, which is great. If you're unfamiliar, it's a website. You pay like 10 bucks and you get these naked pictures. So good. Uh, and I like to tell myself that I'm supporting small businesses. But if we're being 100% honest, these are mostly plus-sized businesses. Quarantine life is weird, though. Every commercial is just a reassuring voice over piano now. I like to picture them trying to hype themselves up for that Zoom audition, just repeating the phrase, in these unprecedented times. In these unprecedented times. In these unprecedented times. It's got to feel weird. Uh, All movies that are being made now are animated because actors can record their parts from their house. Uh, And I'm not a conspiracy theorist, but really, if you're looking for someone to blame for this pandemic, it's definitely voice actors. No one has benefited more than them, except maybe doctors with TikTok accounts, but that's it. It's got to be one of the two. Anyway, that's my time, guys. I'm Stash Makita, and if you want to know where I'm going to be next... It's home for the foreseeable future. Have a good night or day whenever you clicked on this. All right, bye. Stash will be at home, but I'll be here all week. Try the hydroxychloroquine. Please give a warm but not feverish welcome to Kate Clancy, everybody. Wow, thank you all so much for coming out or staying in. I don't know. I just know we're all going through a lot and I appreciate you. I, for one, am struggling. I am struggling with the fact that I can't even go visit my grandma or go to the library right now. Not even because of the virus. I just owe them both way too much money, so be pretty embarrassing to just show up now. I'm feeling pretty fortunate, though, because I am working from home, so I still have an income, which is great. Feeling very blessed by that. But more so, working from home is great because there's no one here trying to give me food that was prepared in homes that I have not visited. I am very much against that. I do not like when coworkers bring food in that was prepared at their house and then expect me to eat it. I need to see for myself that you're not about to be on the next season of Hoarders. 
I don't want to find out you smoke inside by tasting it in your food. Do not offer me a coworker, Kathy, who has six cats casserole at lunchtime. I have a very strict pre-packaged and takeout food only in the break room policy. And if you breach that policy, I will snitch to OSHA because I consider this a hostile work environment. Do not offer me that, ma'am. Do not. I also hate it when my coworkers find out that I do stand up and then they want to ask me if I talk about them in my act. And I know a lot of comics hate that because the answer is usually the same. The answer is usually no. No, I do not give enough of a fuck to talk about you in my stand up. However, That is not the case with me. With me, the answer is always yes. I do talk about you and I use your first and last name and middle initial as well if it is available to me. Which is why I am happy to announce that Daniel F. Waters was in a Zoom meeting on Tuesday, April 21st and did not realize his nickname was set to Fart Juice 69 and I'm never going to stop talking about it. Pandemic or not, we live through this. I'm not letting it go. I'm going to hold on to that forever. And I'm going to hold on to this evening because you guys have been wonderful. Thank you so much. Enjoy the rest of your quarantine. Make sure you tip, I don't know, whoever's in your house and is schlepping drinks to you. Have a great night. That's our show. We'd sign merch in the lobby, but I didn't draw one yet. Thanks for not coming out. Good night, everybody.